My name is Elijah. What do I do, you ask? Do you see this white lab coat? I am a scientist and I am here today to tell you about cells and how small they really are. But in order to be able to do that, we have to do some science. And here it is, an epithelial cell, also known as a skin cell. Now I could tell you a bunch of technical jargon, like the cell is 30 micrometers in length, or that the ribosome is 30 nanometers, or 0.3 micrometers, or how the cell was named. A scientist named Robert Hooke used a tiny little microscope, and when he was looking at the cells of a cork, he actually thought they looked a lot like cells where monks hung out to pray. Yep. But I noticed that you are not wearing a lab coat, so you don't care about that kind of thing. Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you something to see, a visual aid to see how small a cell really is. Let's start with something small. Take this pencil for example. How many cells do you think would be at the tip? About 250,000, give or take about 5,000. That's really small, right? Well, take a look at these bricks. The building block to many structures and buildings. Imagine a brick as a single cell. Lots of cells or bricks make up these massive structures. And these massive structures only represent a fraction of the human body, like the pinky toe. So are you starting to understand how small a cell really is? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so what I'm trying to say is that a cell is not like comparing one hair on my head or one hair on my entire body. A cell is like, it's like comparing a blade of grass to the entire world. And there you have it, a human cell, an infinitesimally little small critter with a huge purpose. You know, I think you've learned a lot today. So much so that you've earned your very own lab coat. Now go, take your lab coat and go into the world and do science.